Hello, my name is Erin. This tutorial shows how to add citations and a bibliography in Google Docs. First, we'll enter the source information. Then we'll add in-text citations. Finally, we'll create a bibliography, also known as a works cited list or references list. To begin entering a source, select the Tools menu, followed by Citations from the drop-down menu. When the Citations sidebar appears, select MLA, APA, or Chicago Author Date from the Style Guide Format menu. Note that you only have to make this choice for the first source. Next, select Add Citation Source and then select the type of source, such as a book, website, or article, from the Source Type menu. Now, select how you accessed the source from the Accessed By menu. The options in this menu will change according to the type of source you're citing. If you're citing a book, book section, website, or article from a website, you can enter the source information automatically by typing the ISBN or URL into the text box, and then selecting the search button. After the source information appears, select the Continue button. The source information will be automatically entered into the relevant fields. Manually fix any incorrect or missing information and then select the Add Citation Source button. The source will now appear in the citation sidebar. If you're citing a journal article, print newspaper article, film, TV series or episodes, or a miscellaneous source without an ISBN or URL, you'll have to manually enter the source information. To begin, select the type of contributor. The type of contributors available will depend on the type of source you're citing. Next, enter the name into the text boxes. If the contributor is not a person, select Corporation, Organization, and then enter the name into the text box. If necessary, select Add Contributor if you need to add additional contributors. Then, fill out the remaining fields with as much information as you have available. Once again, the fields will depend on the type of source you're citing. When you're finished, select the Add Citation Source button. The source will now appear in the Citation sidebar. Now we're going to add in-text citations. If the Citation sidebar is not visible, select the Tools menu followed by Citations from the drop-down menu. Next, place your cursor in the text where you want to insert the citation. Hover your pointer over the source in the sidebar, and then select the Cite button. When the citation appears, you may have to delete the hashtag or pound sign, or manually enter the page number or page range that you cited. Page numbers aren't entered with the other source information because you may cite multiple pages or page ranges from the same source. Before we create a bibliography, it's important to note that Google Docs will include all the sources in your sidebar, even those you didn't cite in your text. Therefore, you may want to delete unused sources from the sidebar before creating the bibliography by hovering over the source, selecting the three-dot menu, and then selecting Delete. You may also notice that there's an Edit option in this menu. Use caution editing your sources because those edits will not automatically be applied to the corresponding in-text citation or existing bibliography. To begin creating your bibliography, Place your cursor in the text where you want it to appear. Then, select the Insert References or Insert Works Cited button. The bibliography should now appear in your document. You can manually edit the heading 
to bibliography, works cited, references list, or list of references as necessary. All the steps we just performed are listed with images on my website at erinwritewriting.com, which is linked in the description box below. Feel free to leave me a comment if there's a specific topic about Google Docs, Microsoft Word, or Adobe Acrobat that you'd like me to talk about in the future. And please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss upcoming tutorials. And give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching.